What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Idaho Rifleman. Today we're going to continue on with our body armor testing. We're going to try the level 4 plate, the ballistic helmet, and we got the level 3 steel plate armor out as well. We'll put it to the test against the 300 blackout. I believe you all have seen this rifle before. If you haven't, go back and uh, look at some of the other videos with it. I think since last time you guys saw this, this is new, it has a linear comp on the end of it now. This upper was having some trouble cycling, so um, they added a linear comp to the end of it. It's supposed to direct the gas more in a straight line instead of out or up. So we'll see if that actually uh, helps it cycle any better. Um, it's got a light on the, on the side, so uh, the idea with that is if you use this in a uh, low light for self-defense, you want to be able to positively identify your target. So you've got, check and clear, a straight light or you've got a strobe pattern so uh, pretty cool light aim point excuse me aim sports one watt 330 lumens uh, fairly low grade light um, they're only like 30 or 40 bucks so but definitely a good addition to uh, any self-defense rifle but we'll uh, head out to the range and see how this performs against the body armor All right, everybody, we're picking up where we left off last time. So this time we're gonna use a 300 blackout. This is a 145 grain Barnall FMJ. Yeah, it's steel case. Okay, looks like I just creased that last one off the top. Aim a little lower. We should be good. So we knocked the helmet. Oh yeah. So right there's where we hit, and that's what it did to it. So it entered right here, broke this buckle, creased through here, went out right there. Wow. Not sure that it actually traveled across. Yeah, it looks like it did. I wouldn't have wanted to been wearing that. Probably still would have survived it. Just would have creased the back of your head. But still would not have been a pleasant experience. Let's shoot that level 4 panel and see what happens. Again, this is the Barnall 145 grain FMJ. Looks like it stopped it. And a bunch of ceramic down here on the ground. It stopped it. It ate that round. Let's pull it out and see. So there's that plate. And it ate that round for sure. Might have deflected it out. There's no way to really tell. I don't have a slow enough speed camera to see. Sure is a big hole though. Let's try a, uh, a Grizzly subsonic 220 grain lead round nose. Wow, that didn't do much at all. Let's check it out. Look at that splatter pattern. 
but very minimal, very heavy, very slow bullet. Did very minimal damage. All right, let's try that same round on level three steel plate armor. I've got it deflected and angled even more than the last ones just for extra safety. hit right here just skipped right off let's try it with that high-speed full metal jacket all right now we're gonna try that barn all 147 grain full metal jacket if you've noticed the uh, subsonic rounds don't have enough pressure to lock back the uh, the bolt on this Another solid hit right here and that didn't do anything to this armor all right everybody that's gonna wrap up this week's episode of Idaho Rifleman I think it was a pretty good video uh, I was surprised at how little damage the 300 blackout did to the uh, the level 4 plate and the uh, level 3 steel plate and I gotta say I was a little bit surprised at how much damage it did to the helmet uh, I knew that helmet wouldn't really stop a rifle round but I didn't expect it to blow out the back the way it did, especially with a full metal jacket. So, uh, really interesting test. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to click like and share the video with your friends. Be sure to subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't already. Uh, again, we're really pushing towards that, that thousand subscriber mark. Hoping to get there soon, and uh, I'll put up that, uh, that poll for you guys of what the next gun I'll pick up for the channel will be. Uh, give you guys a little hint. It's going to be kind of a like a top three under three hundred dollars or somewhere around there, maybe three fifty, depending on how prices are going. But uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. Let me know in the comments down below if there's something that kind of fits into that. I do have to kind of follow the budget set by Mrs. Rifleman, but I do want you guys to to have a say in it as well. So let me know in the comments um, what your kind of top three under three would be. Uh, and we'll say 350. Let's go 350. Top three under 350. Drop that in the comments. Let me know what uh, what you're interested in, what your comments and thoughts are, and uh, we'll see what we come up with when we get to that thousand subscriber mark. I hope you guys all have a great day. Take care, stay safe, and God bless. We'll see you next time on Idaho Rifleman.